Hello everyone, and welcome to The Negative. In this video, we'll be talking about, you guessed it, negatives. Have you ever shot some film, then you go look at the development times? Some of them are like 20 minutes, so you think to yourself, you know what, I'm gonna do the one with eight minutes. So you go grab your bottle of Rodinol, and right on the front, it says standard and high. So your standard is the one to 25, that's your eight minutes, and the high dilution is the 22 minutes. So you might be thinking to yourself, does it even matter which dilution I use? Is there really that big of a difference? Will I even notice? Well, look no further because I actually found out for you. So the standard dilution is actually for normal contrast scenes, scenes that would have pretty even lighting, not a strong difference between light and dark. And the high is actually for high contrast scenes. This is going to be for scenes with pretty strong highlights, and that dilution is going to help you tone down those highlights that way they're not overpowering. So in order to demonstrate the effect of both dilutions, I actually shot a high contrast scene with both and a low contrast scene with both. That way you guys can see how each dilution affects the scene and make a better decision on which dilution would be best for the scene that you've shot. The film I used for this experiment was Ilford FP4. This is one of my favorite films and if you haven't tried it yet, I definitely recommend it. It's super fine grain and super crisp and it has some versatility to it. So I don't know if you guys are doing this now, but it is a good idea to get a look at your negatives and see how they turned out. Don't just wait until you scan your film to see what the image looks like. Take a good look at your negatives. And if you don't know what you're looking for, basically what you're looking for is shadow detail and highlight detail. So the highlights are actually going to be on the negative dark because when the silver reacts to light, it turns black. So the more light that hits an area, the darker it's going to get, which when you reverse it, it's going to be lighter. Same thing with the shadows. The shadows receive less light. So on the film, they're going to be lighter so that when you reverse them, they're the opposite. So they're darker. So when looking at this negative, it is overall a good exposure. There's detail in both the highlights and the shadows, but this is a high contrast scene with the normal contrast dilution. So the one to 25. So now if we look at both side by side, We've now added the high contrast dilution to the right. You'll notice in the highlight areas, which are gonna be the more dense, darker areas of the film. On the left side, right there on the fence, those two boards, they're quite a bit darker than they are on the right side. So that higher contrast dilution actually toned down those highlights and brought more balance to this high contrast scene. So if we flip those to positive, you'll see what actually happened. So over on the left, the high contrast scene, those highlights on the boards and on the left sides of the pot, they're much more dense, so they're way lighter. And then over on the right, you'll notice those highlight areas, a lot more of the detail came out. So it is much more balanced and that higher contrast dilution actually helped out this scene by toning down those kind of blown out contrast to bring more balance to it. Okay, next we're looking at a low contrast scene and how the dilution affects that. So the more concentrated dilution on the left side actually helped out this scene quite a bit more. So it added more punchiness to this scene, which was overall a little bit flat. And then over on the right side, that more diluted solution actually left the image overall pretty flat and kind of dull. So all of these scans have been straight scans. They're not edited at all. So they're pretty much just straight across how the negative would render as close as possible. All right, that's going to just about conclude this video. Hope you guys got use out of this video. This is a nice little personal experiment that I was actually curious about myself because I usually would use the one to 50 dilution, but I was really curious. Does it actually make a difference? And as you can see, it does. So I hope the next time you guys develop your film, you can make a more informed decision on which dilution is going to be right for you. And I'm curious, let me know below. Do you guys use Rodinol or do you have another favorite developer? and what dilution do you like to use? Also, if you guys are curious more about getting the right negative, there's a book called The Negative, which is actually what I named this channel after, and that's by Ansel Adams. I highly recommend that. Definitely go check that out. There's a lot of great info in there. And we'll see you guys next time on The Negative. Is that in actuality, the, uh, the <clears throat> negative is like the composer's score. All the information is there. And then the print is a performance.